So why will I choose you as my partner in wine above anyone else? Well, we went out and we chose all these wines by hand. So we have exceptional wines with exceptional quality on our platform. And we sell at Salador. We don't sell at a retail price. We sell at Salador price. That makes it convenient and easy for you. We are a one-stop shop there and you get great prices. Mm. If you decide to be a member with us, Spanish Wine, for no commitment, 99 Rand a month, you can be a member with us, cancel any time. You can get the wines for even lower than Salador, where the, cl where the club used the money to subsidize the wine pricing. We have decided to not be greedy in our margins. We make our money with our membership and we need to get these awesome wines out to, to public to be able to drink it and to use it and we decided not to be greedy. Mm. We want a big following of members that can, that can enjoy good quality wines. And now make it more accessible to everyone out there in the times that we are in. 100% correct. <laughs> I can't wait to meet my partners in wine. 100% I'll introduce you. Old man Sam Shannon Blanc, Jacques Maria, this is from your family farm. No, uh, well we actually started a venture, myself and my dad, uh, uh, and we buy grapes from the Greater Salabosch region. So we don't own our own farm, uh, which was, doesn't limit us from sourcing the best grapes that we possibly can. So the Shannon is sourced from the uh, Simonsburg area, from Old Bush Vines. Uh, it's about 40 years old, the vines. and. So we rent cellar space and we pick it when it's phenolically ripe and we bring it into the cellar, whole bunch press the grapes into old 400 litre barrels and let it mature there for about eight months. Why Old Man Sam? Well, Old Man Sam and all of our wines in Rare Family Wines is based on real life stories from growing up in Namibia on a cattle farm. So Old Man Sam is a bit of a tribute to our old foreman uh, that used to teach myself and my brother everything we needed to know about farming and are about to respect nature and so this is working with older vines and respecting the older heritage and then doing minimal intervention and just trying to showcase what uh, Stellenbosch grapes are all about. The reason why we chose uh, Shannon Blanc is it is a distinctive like South African uh, a grape that we bring our hat on saying South Africa we make great Chenin Blancs and I was very fortunate to have worked with this vineyard for uh, several years when I was still working at Coin Rock so I understand where the, gra the grapes come from and it is our, sh our true representation of what we think a good Chenin Blanc is in South Africa. Mm. Fathers and Wine have chosen this wine specifically because it's great value for money. There's a lot of Shannons out there. And with this one, if people haven't bought this yet, I think it's, a, it's an easy buy, it's not expensive, and it's a good drink for any occasion. It's a perfect one. No, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, again, uh, we, we didn't want to go overtly uh, creaminess, uh, big oak and stuff, so that's why we went more neutral, older barrels. Uh, I do like uh, picking with a high acid level. Um, it, I think it just carries the wine. Uh, the finesse of the wine, the finish is nice and lengthy without being overpowering and creamy. Otherwise, you will be confused with Chardonnay. So for me, lighter style wine, but it still has a lot of mouthfeel and it pairs wonderfully with most uh, dishes or on its own <laughs> after our day as work. Johan Carlitz. Misha, what is this? So the, it's 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. It's been sourced from four different regions that are very similar yet very different. Uh, it's been sourced from Paul, Baderberg, Wellington and Swartland. Um, and us being a vine nursery, we pride ourselves in having deep knowledge of vineyards and soils all across South Africa. Um, so choosing out the best grapes to make this wine um, is one of our passions. So what we are aiming for in this is a fruit forward expressive cabernet. So what you'll be smelling is a lot of plums, black fruit, uh, mulberry, as well as some uh, cigar box and oak flavors that just complements the dark fruit and earthiness of the wine um, to balance it out, uh, uh, giving it lovely fruit and earthiness. Um, on the palate you'll find that the Tannins aren't very harsh, but they are pronounced and that just follows through the mid palate and, and, and 
we look for a long finish. What food pairing would you, would you say is the best? Uh, for me, I would say a lamb roast uh, or a nice T-bone or rump steak uh, bright on the fire. Um, any type of red meat with roast vegetables uh, pairs wonderfully with this wine. And also if you have a chocolate mousse or chocolate style dessert, mm -hmm. um, this just complements it beautifully. A wine for any occasion then? <laughs>to become an old vine. So it's also the first of its kind in the area. When you take off the paper, there's actually no stickers on the bottle. It's <laughs> on the paper. <laughs> yeah, so something special. We used to making big volumes of Sauvignon Blanc. Um, that's our main market in South Africa. We do it in bottle and box. It sounds strange, but it's actually safer when you open a, a box. And that's also why we do the smaller box, the not the five liter, because it fits in the door of your fridge. Mm. So if you open it and you, tonight you have uh, two or three or four glasses, then as you take the wine out of the box, the bag actually goes, to, so there's no oxygen inside. Oh, wow. So it's, it's different than you leave a half bottle of wine in, in your fridge, then it's, you, must, you must finish it. Um, yeah, so how did we get to that? Um, I think when we settled all the other stuff and, um, and, and we became aware, obviously, that that block is, is ready to be, be an old wine block. Tell us about this wine on the table quickly, about the profile, the flavour. We obviously leave that in the vignette a bit longer than the normal Sauvignon Blanc, so we, we want the 13.5 um, alcohol on the label to be a bit fatter and obviously to, to be able to, to uh, take the barrels nicely. So the aim is to have a, 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 a fatter wine. We leave it on the lease for 100 days. Um, and then to, the wood must just be a, on, the, on, the, on the back burner. Yeah, we need the we need the fruit with all our wines. We need the the, the uh, fruit to be up front, and then you can just back it up with the wood. Tell me more about this beautiful bottle in my hand. It's, so it's a blend of uh, mainly red varieties: uh, Pinot Noir, Chardonnay. Uh, Pinot Mignon, then we add a little bit of Pinotage, um, just to give it that South African spin uh, to the wine. And it spends about 18 months uh, on the lees uh, before we disgorge it. Um, but all that red fruit sort of gives you that deceived sweetness, uh, but it's still a brute. Um, mm. So the, it just brings out all that lovely plush colours of all the red. Especially the Pinotage has a little bit of a strawberry sort of cream, you know. <laughs> Why, as a consumer, should I go for this Brut Rosé instead of any of the others on the shelves? It's well priced um, and we also we double up um, on the time on the lease. Uh, South Africa, the, the rules are changing, but it's normally nine months, changing to 12 months, but we leave it 18 months. Um, and that extra time on the lease actually gives you a smaller, finer bubble, as you'll see in the glass. It goes beautiful with a lot of like your summer salads, uh, beautiful with any dessert because you get that sort of creamy perceived sweetness as well. Um, it goes beautiful with uh, fish, um, yeah, uh, even a little bit of a duck, sort of a pan fried duck will go beautiful with this as well. Yeah. So it's nice because of that extra lease time, you also get a little bit of a brioche character, which is very nice and then that red fruit just comes through over that, um, it's beautiful.